When you ask any YouTube content creator what they struggle with, you'll almost always hear the same answer, titles and thumbnails. So I challenged myself to build an AI app in just 24 hours, no coding required to solve this problem. The result blew my mind. Check this out. This is the landing page of the app called title craft it created a simple but clean home page with an overview of the tool and a sign-in option after signing in i'll type in another example again story of moses with the tone set to documentary and hook style as story it generated eight titles and ranked the top five which i definitely consider for youtube those top five move into concepts i'll select one generate the thumbnail in 3d animation and wait for the mock-up here it is the gpt image model generated a solid mock-up that i can download straight to my computer and that's how the tool works from start to finish it turned out even better than I expected. And remember, this was built with zero coding experience using only plain English. So in this video, I'll walk you through the entire process from brainstorming ideas to creating the app, fixing issues, and finally making it public for anyone to use. And stick around until the end because I'll show you exactly how to access this app to streamline your faceless YouTube workflow. The AI app builder I'll be using is called Replit AI. It is a cloud-based tool that lets you build real apps using plain English. It has an agent that takes your description, builds the project, writes the code, sets up databases, and can even deploy your app. At the same time, the assistant acts like an AI co-pilot, auto-completing code, explaining it, and even fixing any issue when needed. The best part, it all happens right in your browser. Replit calls this vibe coding because it makes building apps accessible to anyone even without a coding background like myself with that out of the way let's get started to sign up for replit use the link in the description box it'll bring you to this page replit lets you get started for free with a generous free plan and you can also upgrade to a paid plan depending on your project needs once you've signed up you can log into your account when you do you'll see a welcome message with your name along with a box asking you to describe what you want your app or website to be. Now, I don't recommend just typing something random in here. The best way to use Replit is to give the AI a detailed instruction so it can generate your app from one strong prompt without burning through your free credits. To do this, I'll be using GPT-5 to help brainstorm and structure the prompt. I've prepared a detailed template for you, which I'll link in the description. You can paste it into ChatGPT and it will ask you a few simple questions to refine your idea. For example, it might ask, what do you want to build? In my case, I'll say, I want to build a title and thumbnail mock-up generator. Next, it'll ask, this app helps users do what so they can what? You'd respond with something like, this app helps creators generate clickable titles and thumbnail mock-ups to inspire their design process. Then it will ask, who is this for and which platform? I'll answer, it's for YouTube creators and it will be a web app. After answering the remaining questions, the model generates a detailed breakdown of your project, covering the objective, the features and the flow based on your answers. From there, I'll copy everything it provides, head back to Replit and paste it in. Once pasted, I'll simply say, I want to build the app in the document I provided and then click start building. Once you click start building, Replit begins by planning the app. It will generate a general interface showing what the app could look like. If you don't like the layout, you can make edits before it fully builds, which is really cool. You can see here that it's already confirming it understands what I want to build and is planning the application based on my specifications. 
applications. Now that the planning is done, on the left hand side, you'll see everything it has generated so far in the planning phase. In the middle, you'll see a mock up of how the app might look. If you click on the mock up, it expands into a snapshot. In this case, it shows fields where someone can enter their idea, target audience, primary goal, and other features. Then you'd click generate title and concept to create the title and mock up. If you don't like any part of it, you can edit before approving. Since this looks fine to me, I'll click approve plan and Replit will start building the app. This part takes a couple of minutes. Now at this stage, it's asking me to connect with OpenAI's API. Basically, it needs my ChatGPT API key to generate titles and images. I've already created a key, so I'll paste it here and continue. Replit has now created the first version of the app. Let's test it. For example, idea, I will type it AI animation for audience, beginners, primary goal. I will select get views, tone, high energy hook, style, promise of value. So it's more tutorial based. Keyword T will type in free tool. I'll leave everything else as is and click generate title and concept. Now notice here on the right hand side, there's an error message. If you ever get errors like this, all you need to do is take a screenshot with your snipping tool, paste it back into the chat box and tell the AI agent this app has an error from there the agent will fix the issue automatically this is how you communicate with it if something isn't working or if you don't like a feature you just capture it paste it in and explain the problem the ai then explains in plain english what it's doing to fix it and the best part you don't need to know any code the agent handles everything but still keeps you updated on what it's changing you can also tweak the interface design right from here if you want so now let's wait for it to complete fixing the issue it has fixed all the problems and you can see it lists out everything it corrected one nice feature is the rollback option if you want to go back to the previous version, you can click here. In this case, I won't roll back since that version contained errors, but it's good to know that option is there. Now, as you can see, it generated about 18 titles. That's a lot. And we could always ask it to generate fewer if needed. It also tried to rank them by score. It's not perfect, but still helpful. For example, I entered AI animation as the topic and free tool as the key keyword and it gave me a variety of title options. Under concepts, it generated details for each idea, things like the character, background, subject, camera setup, and design guidelines. It even provided color palettes, which is a really nice touch. From here, you can click build mockup to create images from the concepts. Now, when I clicked build mockup, it didn't work right away. So I just went back to the agent, told it build mockup isn't working, and it fix the issue automatically. That's the same process I used to create the original application I showed you earlier. That the build mockup issue has been fixed. I clicked on one and it generated several mockups. On the back end, it's using to generate the images, though I could switch it to the latest GPT model if I wanted. This shows just how quickly the app works. In only a few minutes, I had titles, concepts, and mockups ready. And of course, if there's anything you don't like, you can ask the AI agent to make adjustments. Now let's return to the original app I built and run through a demo. This app is called Title Craft, a title and thumbnail generator. You can see it created a clean landing page with the tools overview and a sign in button. Clicking sign in brings me to the page where I can either create an account or log in. I'll go ahead and log in so we can test it out. I've signed in. On the left, you'll see the parameters similar to what I showed earlier. For this example, I'll type in AI animation. Let's say I want to create a video about AI animation targeting beginners. My goal is to get views, though you can also choose goals like building authority or ranking in search. This setup 
takes your goal into account. For the tone, I'll select educational since I'm teaching a tutorial. For the hook style, I'll choose promise of value. Then for the keyword, I'll add free tool and click the plus sign to attach it. In the advanced settings, you can choose how many titles to generate. I'll leave it at eight. For the thumbnail mockup, I'll also leave the defaults and click generate. Now it has generated eight titles and the way I configured it, it highlights the top five. Let's take a look. Free tool for easy AI animation creation and create AI animation with this free tool. Both of these make sense and align with my topic. You can also export the titles as a CSV or Excel file if you want to save them for later. Moving on to concepts, the top five titles are automatically transferred here. I'll choose one, create AI animation with this free tool. For the mock-up, I'll keep it at one image since GPT's image generation can be a little slow. I'll select 3D animation and click click generate mockup. Once it's ready, you'll see it under the mockup tab. Here's the mockup. As you can see, the GPT image generator produced clean text and a nice design. If you like it, you can download it directly as an image. Let's test another example, this time with a story based title. I'll type in story of Moses. I'll leave the target audience the same, but change the tone to documentary and the hook style to story. I'll remove the free tool keyword and generate again. Here are the results. Moses's journey to the promised land and from Pharaoh's palace to Exodus, Moses's story. These are really strong titles. Under concepts, it shows subject Moses, composition, Moses holding a tablet and it even suggests colors like gray and gold. I'll select one and again choose 3D animation for the thumbnail style. Here's the mock-up and it looks great. This gives you a strong visual idea for your thumbnail. You could use it as is or simply as inspiration. Now that the app works as expected, the next step is deployment. Deployment means making your app public so others can use it. Before I show you how to deploy this and make it public, let me highlight another feature. Right now, the app is being displayed in desktop view, but if you click the screen size option at the top. You can preview how it looks on different devices. For example, here's how it looks on my phone. You can see it's already optimized for mobile. If you haven't deployed before, the button will say deploy. Mine says redeploy since I've already published it once. Clicking redeploy starts the process. At the top under deployment, you'll see stages like provision, build, bundle, promote. Once everything is marked green, the app is live. Here, deployment was successful. If it had failed, you'd see a red indicator. Since it worked, I now have a domain link I can copy and paste into my browser. And yes, it's working perfectly. If you want to try this tool, I'll leave the link in my community so you can generate your own titles and thumbnails. So that's how I built an AI app for titles and thumbnails. The biggest takeaway is this. You don't need to be a programmer to create tools that actually solve your problems as a creator. With platforms like Replit, all you really need is an idea and the willingness to test it. If you found this helpful, let me know in the comments what kind of AI app you'd want me to build next. And if you want to try Replit yourself, I've left the link down below so you can get started today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.